All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, we're gonna do another Xbox episode. Yes, sir. And you want to call it? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Listen, I'll set up an entire storyboard for you. You're at the pawn shop, or, or you're sitting thrift, thrift store. You're sitting on your couch checking out eBay. You want to know if you should take it, put it in your car or take it up to the counter, put your credit card down and say, let's pay for this, or maybe you should leave it behind. That Please. was a long... Women like to talk, we like to draw it out. I wanna paint you a visual picture. I don't have enough beer for your visual picture. <laughs> Last month, I think you called it gold or sold. Gold or sold, assuming it's in your collection. So, and... this is take it or leave it. Before we get to the Xbox games, on our last Xbox episode, we did a uh, channel highlight. But we're not gonna, you don't want to call it highlight now. <laughs> I like to switch it up she's, all the time. Just... This is the thing. We watch a lot of YouTube. I think any content creator that's on YouTube should be watching YouTube. You that's want how you to get better. That's you, how you get better. You get better, yeah. plus you're supporting you other support content creators, yeah. right? So. Every month, we constantly check out new channels. We want to see what's out there. I know these channels have probably made the rounds in the community. People have found them, but they're new to us. New to us. That's just yeah. part of the old YouTube algorithm. algorithm. We're going to do two we're this gonna do month. We're going to do two. We didn't want to pay. We have to choose. We yeah, kept going back and forth. We have two new channels that but we're watching. they're both watching, good. And they're both good. So I first found him on Gaming Off the Grid, Retro Ghetto. He had a really cool video out about, are you a collector or a gamer first? first. So you had to make a decision <clears throat> by the end of the video mm -hmm. what you are. It was a really good video. Yeah. Uh, we'll put a link in the description yep. so you guys can check it out. He has very good on-camera presence. Oh yeah, for sure. Editing's pretty snappy, keeps everything popping pretty good. Yeah. Has a great voice. Yeah. His intro music is awesome. I it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. I assume I he wrapped it. it. It sounds like yeah. him, so I assume it is, and it's it's really, really good. Yeah. I like it. Definitely check it out. It's in my regular circulation of video yeah. or channels I watch now. And yeah. then there's another one that I think you sent me the video. I did. Easy going gaming. I could just like press play and just listen to him talk because he's He's very articulate. He yeah. really knows what he's talking about. I find like ones that I've watched is very much set up like a podcast. The uh, video that you well you sent me that I watched that I really enjoyed was unpopular opinions. Yeah, about gaming. gaming. Like just and I swear I agreed with every single one of them. Yeah, it just it sounded like he was talking to me. Yeah, so we were like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like mm -hmm. same people. So you're gonna pop a link in the description of that video also. And let's get on with the Xbox. We're covering everything Xbox this year because it's Xbox 20th anniversary. Coming up in November. Coming up in November. In no particular order. I'm just gonna grab it from the top of my stack. That's what I think you should do. Pretty surprised at how fun it is. Yes, yeah. It's Painkiller Hell Wars. Very fun, um, first person shooter. Yeah. What happens at the first of the game, you die in a car crash, and then I think the whole spiel is you're trying to be reunited. I don't know if it was his wife. I assume it was his wife. Mistress. But, <laughs> maybe. But they've got you running around, killing off Satan's generals or stuff yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I watched you play a little yeah. bit of this, and the, uh, it's the very cool. The soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal if you're into metal. I think that was my metal. favorite part. Oh, that yeah. they would pick up when enemies were close by. Oh, yeah. Like that it would just like pump out and it kind of it kind of got you going there are some really cool enemies there like there's the ones that pissed me off one of the worst <laughs> was those guys with the flamethrowers but then there were also there were witches that flew I on remember brooms that. and you had to you had to be good aim there to get them there you did. they'll come right at you and you almost have to shoot them straight up i loved the weapons there were some awesome there weapons. there were some awesome weapons like the Sh shooting grappling type weapon that would like yep. you it could spin but then you could shoot it outward and it would grapple hook someone yep. too which was really i thought that was awesome I'm there, like, i want one for real life the one i enjoyed was the steak Gun. Yes, the steak gun was awesome. Steak gun. Well, not steak like yeah. <laughs> medium rare on you the barbecue. You sh shoot like a friggin' block of wood like this <laughs> huge there and just pulverize somebody. Yeah. Stick them right to the walls. 
amazing. Uh, you got your shotgun. You got. I had a grenade launcher at yep. one point. You got this. a little overwhelmed. Uh, see, I didn't play it on the easiest level, and it was going well. They go by chapters. I think there's either five or six chapters. I don't know because I'm only halfway through. And mm -hmm. then when I hit chapter three, the difficulty just amped up. I was like, what in the hell? I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. When we went to the chapter selection, I remember you're like, which one should I choose? And then when we were reading the description on the first one, I'm like, sounds like you won't have a really balanced experience. It sounds like it'll be way too easy. Well, there's- That's there's, why it made it seem. Well, right? if you put it on the easiest level, there are tarot cards that give you and powers. And then you don't get and, the tarot cards, right? Yeah, you don't even get that option to use them. Now I'm at that point where I'm, a, I'm in chapter three and I'm like assuming level four and it's just, crazy yeah well yeah. you've seen it at the end oh i it just you were overwhelmed, overwhelmed with enemies and nowhere really to go to get away from and them. it felt like i didn't have the proper weapons to take it out yeah take them out because it was just i could shoot them there would be 25 guys for flamethrowers and i'm in this confined like arena style yeah. where i can only run around in a circle and I just couldn't take them out. They kill you fast. They do the, kill you really yeah, fast. Yeah, but I can't kill them fast. My grenade launcher couldn't get close enough. My gun isn't strong enough to kill them. It was... Ugh. Yeah. I was quite impressed with the graphics, too. Looks good. It does Sounds look pretty great. good. Yeah. Yeah. Very... Gives me that Doom feeling there yes. when I'm playing the game. I, I agree 100%. Now... If you were at the pawn shop... Take it or leave it? I would tell people to it. take it. Take it. For as difficult as it is getting i have i am having a blast and it's not expensive it's not it's probably ten dollars canadian yeah probably you can pop up what i think all the games we're going <laughs> to talk about today are, are they're fairly all, cheap they're all very affordable it, yeah. all very affordable if you like first person shooters and you like it's the whole you're fighting demons and stuff like and that metal and heavy metal soundtracks, yeah. the action is great. Like, it's fun. It's mm -hmm. a really fun game. I It's well worth the time. I would just suggest maybe starting off on the easiest level. Yeah, <laughs> unless, unless you're really good at the style game. Yeah, but I yeah. think even other people reviewing that had said the same thing. I, that's what happened. I think, I didn't realize it until I got to that point where I hit, like, I hit a wall. And I was like, holy crap. Now and you then really I remember, know. I think I think I remember yeah. somebody saying the same thing in a review that the difficulty just doubled. It just doubled over in that one chapter. It was just yeah. crazy. It's just crazy. But definitely pick that one up. It's worth it. Okay, actually, I want you to pick from the bottom of the pile next. I want to talk about the one I played. You're so bossy. I am bossy. Still Life. I played through this one. It is a very, very cool game. Now, I love survival horror. This is not a survival horror, but it gives you that feeling without having to survive. It's, it's just murder mystery. Yeah, kind of a murder mystery. It's eerie. It's creepy. You're dealing with trying to solve who the killer is, right? Yes, I didn't yeah. watch the whole game. You didn't. Because I was playing my own thing. You go back and forth between two different timelines. You're on the first timeline, which is Victoria McPherson, and then you go to her grandfather. So it keeps going back and forth. He's in France, and she's reading his diary or his memoir, I guess, or whatever she finds in the attic. Really visually stunning still. Uh, creepy, eerie music. I really like that about it. I love the time line changes. Yeah, I like, I like, it kept it fresh. I for like that a, kind of stuff too. For a mystery, like horror, puzzle solving type of game, yep. that can get a little bit redundant. So switching back and forth between those timelines was fantastic. I really okay. appreciated that. Unfortunately, cons. there were some more cons than pros. <laughs> yeah. Biggest con would be the puzzles, and it's yeah. all and it's a puzzle game. But the the way and the method in which you do the puzzles, the, the solving the puzzles make no sense at all. It really, it's like how would you know that? You wouldn't. And then some of the puzzles are just ridiculous. Yeah. Why am I making my dad cookies? <laughs> yes. Why? Yes. Why am I playing a mystery horror sol like? situation and my dad wants cookies i'm trying to solve a mystery dad i'm trying to solve a crime yeah and go murder's make me some going cookies on there. i'll take a hot minute and make you some cookies and that is the hardest puzzle in the game and if you do not even bake you just go to your phone yeah. pick it up google how do i get through the fucking cookie recipe because that's what you're gonna do 
it's ridiculous. That I I just I just didn't understand why that was in there. With the with, with the problems that the game has, how was the story and the experience? The story was fantastic, or yeah. else I wouldn't have continued playing it. So, and I don't like not finishing in the game too. So. Day and age that we live in right now, that people can go online and they can figure out how to do all these these puzzles because you don't you pretty much have to. You, the you are have not bad. to. You have yeah. to. There's a puzzle towards the end too where you have to go through a laser laser beams, but you have to find the right path to get up and go. Oh. And it just felt like the movement was backwards too, but also it was just like you. I don't even know how you would know that's what you need. That's what I hear a lot of people talk about when I've seen reviews and stuff it's like how was i supposed to know that we have to talk about the one mandela effect in the entire thing oh yeah yeah and i looked at you when it happened and it was like towards we both the first like, of the oh game my God. you go into your first crime scene forensic investigator that yeah. was there doing the stuff yeah. Her name is Clarice. Her name is Claire. Claire? Yeah. Oh. But she plays on it and she says, Hello, Hello Clarice. Clarice. Yes. Yeah. That never happened. Apparently never it's a happened Mandela effect. Yeah. That's how I remember it's it. It's supposed to be good morning, Clarice. Right? Yes. But I've just she, It said it in the game. It was like, Hello, Clarice. She said it just like that and I went, Oh! Yeah, we did the same thing <laughs> at like, the, same the, time. <laughs> the same time. At the same time. Take it or leave it. If you are okay with looking things up on the internet, then take it. If you're not, leave it, because you'll just get pissed off. Yeah. I actually still enjoyed the game. Once I started looking things up, I tried not to, but I was just getting to a point where I, I was difficult. going, I was just not going to enjoy my experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm an adult and I have limited time, so I wanted to enjoy the game. So, so you're not really, you're like, if you're this kind of person. For me, it's a take it. For you, it's a take it. For me, it's a leave it because I don't like those kind of puzzle games. Exactly. It depends on The puzzle on who games you are. have to be like kindergarten level for me because I am not that good at puzzle <laughs> one games. One plus one is two. Yeah, I'm like, ah. Uh... Apple. <laughs> <laughs> the next game was actually suggested in the comment, and I've, I've had it here in my collection for a little bit, and I haven't played it. Crimson Skies. Mm -hmm. This is an Xbox exclusive. This is also backwards compatible. So I played it on my Xbox Series X. You did. Don't think it did much for the visual part of it, especially for the cutscenes. They're oh. aged. They're not the worst. They they probably looked a little rough for back then. But you're not playing it for the cutscenes. You're not playing it for the story because the story there's not much to it. Yeah. But the actual flight mechanics of it, flying the plane and doing the, some of the missions and everything, is pretty darn fun. Yeah. Like it hand the plane handles well, except for one mission, <laughs> <laughs> where you go into the temple and you fly underground. So you're flying in caves and tunnels. Where no planes are meant to be. I almost quit the game. I almost quit. I had to walk away. You, uh, I came upstairs. I said, I, I, fuck I, that game. I, yeah, I that's <laughs> literally, I literally said, fuck that game. Fuck that game. That game fucking <laughs> bullshit. I had to recompose myself. I went and had something to eat and I came back a couple hours Maybe later. Maybe you were just hangry. Maybe. Uh, once I got past that, the last the last battle the mission there was pretty darn cool. It was pretty fun. Yeah. It was a big battle. Overall, don't get this for the story. <laughs> yeah. Not not memorable at all. But if you like that style of fighting, that dog fighting, where you're flying the planes and stuff and shooting down other planes, it handles really well. It it still plays very well, and that part of the game looks really well. In the end, for you, would it be a take it or leave it? I would suggest people take it. It's cheap, it's fun, just be prepared to maybe be frustrated with that one level. I ended up having to fly back <laughs> through the shit show there to get a plane that has a little smaller yeah. wingspan there, and then I was able to get through. You're flying through tunnels, and then the booby traps, so the doors are going up and down. So if you don't time that door perfectly, and it closes on you, then you have like a pinball effect, and then you bounce oh, off of the walls and everything, no. you can't get back around, and then you're playing, you blow up, and you have to restart. Oh my god, I did that so many times. I saw Scott play this for like a few minutes, and uh, I had the same thought he did when he came upstairs to complain about the game. I said, fuck that game. I would <laughs> never take that game. I'd leave that shit right there. But that's me, yeah. and I know my skill set, and I know this game would frustrate the living shit yeah. out of me, and I would be like, we need to burn it! Up until that 
that frustrating level, I was really enjoying the game. And then for probably a week or two after that level there, I was bitter and now I've kind of gotten over it. And now I can so look at it a little more positive and I enjoyed my experience. I didn't love the game, but I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. I think that's kind of in the same... Yeah, so pick it up. It is worth it. It is oh, backwards compatible. It. Do whatever you want. Yeah, we're not your boss. Your wife's your boss. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll, I'll name it for you. Then I'll let you start talking yeah. first. And then I'll probably never get a chance. Test Drive, Eve of Destruction. Such an awesome game. <laughs> this is this is fun. You this, go ahead and you talk about what you loved about the game there, and then I'll put in my two cents. Uh, initially, I hated the fucking game. Language. I, I did for a little, like a second, like a little second. I'm not the best at driving games, at racing games. But this is not your typical racing game. No. No. <laughs> it's got the craziest <clears throat> missions ever. And once you accept that, you're like, oh, okay. It's a, well, We're here for a good up. time, not it's, a long time. It's the best way to describe it for me is it's Smash Up Derby. Yeah. So you're always racing in, in around the same track. It just track gets changed, layout's a little bit different. Smash Up Derby. If people with severe mental issues were like, you know, it would be fun if we made them go around flagpoles every yeah. 300 meters. Let so, make them go around a flagpole. Yeah, well, she's taught. I did. I was not good. You at that did race. not like that. I one. I did not like that one because you do your regular oval track, and then they'll have probably five or six poles, and then once you get to that pole, you have to wrap around it and then keep going. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should shoot chickens at other cars. <laughs> that, that, was would, fun. that was fun though, because but I'm like, I who Dennis. the hell thinks about this? Yeah. Who, who I can't remember what that was called, but me and Dennis played it there and I killed him and it was great. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah, you have like a rubber chicken cannon, bah! Yeah. and blow up the car. Some of my favorite races, the ones with the trailers and then, oh my cause you'll God. have like a little camper trailer, kind of you're towing that behind you. And yeah. if that thing starts to drift out, it just pulls you all around the track. But the even worse than that is there's one where you have a car chained to you. So you're towing a car and that that's can get hot crazy. Mess. That can get crazy. I don't remember how many races, different style races there were. So many. There have to be, there has to be close to 20. Yeah. And the figure eight out of that, jumping one was oh, fun. Oh yeah. And out of those 20, I probably enjoyed like at least three quarters of them. Oh yeah. It was, there was a lot of fun. Me and you played it one night there. I kicked your ass. It was great. No, <laughs> you did not. I we did. did. No, did. shush. No, did. stop it. No, we no. did three. Rise. Like you had to pick, pick five events. We did that three times. The best of- I think of, you won one, didn't you? I did win one. You won the yeah. first one. I won the second one. And then you won the third one. And I did pretty good. I won one. I should get a medal. Yeah. Yeah, or like a night off doing laundry or something. Yeah. I don't sure. have to quote, I don't have to hear anybody say, that's for happening. Nobody wants to list you wine, Jen. Jeez. <sighs> take it or leave it. Take it. Oh, take it. Take it. Take this one home. All day long. Dennis was over here playing and uh, he compared it to Wreckfest. One of the funnest races is you take half the pack and they go clockwise around the track and then the other half the pack oh, go yeah. counterclockwise around the track. And then I've noticed if you are if you happen to be in the lead, if you're number one, they are out for blood. They will They will aim for you. The AI will aim for you mm. when they're coming at you. They like, you, you can't even avoid them, little son of a dirty drivers <laughs> <clears throat> anyway take it take it home this is this is gold it is ah, see how i snuck that in for four games for the xbox what oh I just you might be able to get money. you might be able to get those four games for 40 or 50 bucks total we had total. more fun and spent more time playing those four, four games than yep. we would have had at a movie that was two hours long that would have cost a family a yep. hundred bucks eva destruction might be a little more. Maybe you can pop up the price guide. I will prop, pop know, up price all charting them. for all four combined, so people know what they're getting into. Yeah. But yeah. I would say, yeah, you you can't go wrong with those games. Really, there's there's worse games to play. Some of them oh. are better than others. A great Test month drive. of of Xboxing. Yep. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers. Game on. Game on. I race you, like in the game. Shut up. <laughs>